This channel needs something new, something fresh, something to bring Minecraft back into the limelight. That's where the theme comes in. I'm a hobbit, but I haven't had my adventure. This series will help me do just that. I used MCA to place a copy of Mount Doom a hundred thousand blocks away from where we are in Hobbiton. I must take my ring the distance to destroy it in the fiery inferno, even though I'm just as Bilbo? This series will be like no other, except maybe a, a simple walk into Mordor and far lands are bust, except I'll actually reach my goal. This is the 100,000 block journey. Now let's go. Hey, what is up guys? Trex here. Welcome back to another episode of the 100,000 block journey. We are on day 10, which means at the very end of this day, we get to press F3 and see how far we've come. So that is very exciting because we we are um, we're on our way to reaching Mordor, wherever that might be, which is at 100,000 blocks X or so, and we'll have to go to the side, of course, a bit for um, variation and such that we've encountered during the the actual journey itself. But we'll we'll be able to reach Mordor slash Mount Doom. Um, Pretty soon, hopefully. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Do you care to follow me out to the sun so that you may burn to death? I guess not. Anyways, carrying on. Hello, horse. And it's been... A, I didn't uh, get a an episode of this off on Monday when I normally would um, because I was still transferring my setup and getting things reconfigured. I just got my shaders mod reinstalled on here, but that is kind of a necessity at this point. If I'm able to run it, I want to have it because it makes Minecraft look absolutely gorgeous. So I just finished getting that all installed and such. So that's that's a good thing. That um because it'll make the video look better. Playing in full screen, of course, I'm getting everything all set up. Um, that Prison Architect video I published, it's now private, so it won't be visible, um, because I forgot that in Premiere, when you're exporting a video for the first time, you have to set your settings, and I didn't, I forgot to set my settings, so it was rendered in like, oh, 720 or 480 or something. It, it was, it did not look good. It was awful, awful. but I fixed that with the Terraria 1.3 um, inaugural Let's Play episode. So, yeah, I fixed all those render settings, and I'll double check them to make sure that they are all looking fine and such when I export this video. But yeah, um, the new setup, or it's not really a new setup, it's an upgrade, but it feels like a new setup because it's a new installation of Windows. But this upgrade to an SSD, I recommend it for anybody that is a custom build, um, get an SSD because this SSD is incredible. My system boots in like 15 seconds or something. It's super fast. I don't have time to uh, go to the bathroom anymore um, when my computer's booting up because normally it would take like four minutes for my computer to boot up, or from the time I re press the restart button, um, from the time I restarted my computer from the from Windows to the time where it was able to turn back on and I could open Steam and Firefox it was about four minutes. And sometimes the internet it, it would it would show that it has an it had an internet connection, but it wouldn't utilize that internet connection and actually connect to the internet, so that would require an additional restart. So it was very frustrating. But now with the computer booting in like 14 seconds, um, it's great because I don't have to spend all that time waiting and also I'm not getting the internet issue anymore because it's a fresh installation of Windows which has fixed many of my problems and a uh, like fresh installation of Firefox has fixed my problems of not being able to comment or not getting annotations so yeah it's um it feels like a new build and it's very very nice uh, my field of view is off I just noticed yeah I still haven't configured these all um but where is field of view i don't know fog fast yeah I'll, I'll get around to that sometime uh field of view there it is quake pro there we go that's what i like ah there we go all better now all better i can see the horse head isn't right in my face which is good we're coming on to an oak forest oh there's some more horses which which way are we traveling um i'm just going to make sure we're traveling the right direction real quick because we did come across one of these forests. It is day 10, so I can do this. We are traveling east. Okay, good. 
I didn't see the block number, I just looked for the direction. We'll check the block, uh, our block count at the end of the day. But, um, I don't really have too much more to say, so let's get into some questions after we do some horse parkour. Because horse parkour is cool. Uh, questions. We have one question, before I forget, I'm going to mention from Jennifer Fregal, Fregali, and it's, um, so you, you said, it's sort of like, you said you play football, what position do you play? And so yeah, I do play football whenever it's in season, usually. And I play wide receiver, uh, slash slot receiver, slash person that gets ball by catching ball, by standing out from line, and I don't really play defense, so I play wide receiver. Now on to these questions that I actually have pulled up on my second monitor. Uh, second monitor, by the way, great. Get a second monitor if you have one, uh, or if you can, support one. Or if you just have another monitor lying around, you utilize it, because second monitor is great. Anyways, on to the questions themselves. Number one, from Rockfish Girl. I haven't seen you on my channel before. I don't think I've read any comments of yours. Um, but questions. Number one, how do you know so much about computers and topics around that? Well, I kind of got knowledge about computers from building my own computer, which was great and a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um... I, I recommend building your own computer because it's cheaper than buying pre-built. It's um, it'll run games if you do it right. It's cheaper than buying pre-built. It'll run games better than any consoles, and it's overall quite an enjoyable experience. So, by building my own computer, I've always been interested in them. My dad uh, worked with them a lot. Um, it, he has an engineering degree, so yeah, he work he works a lot with computers, and I just gain knowledge. From whatever he tells me, and from building one and such. Also, I have some a pretty tech-savvy tech friend that I can learn from. Uh, number two, what would your favorite game be that you don't record? Mm, I'd say Kerbal Space Program, probably. Although, I might start recording that. I want to. I don't know, because I've played a lot of that game. Uh, Kerbal Space Program slash Prison Architect. Um, because I really, or I do record Prison Architect, so yeah, Kerbal Space Program, I love that game, it is, I believe, Terraria is my favorite game, but I think Kerbal Space Program is, like, the best game ever created, um, Kerbal Space Program and Terraria are the best games ever created, because Kerbal Space Program, it's so great, because you literally just build whatever you want to, and you get to fly through space in a rocket that you built yourself in an infinite universe with no loading times. Kerbal Space Program is fantastic. I don't record it. I want to. I might start recording it. But that is my favorite game that I play that I don't record. Um, number three. When will you gain your next goal in Trivia? Uh, my next goal right now is the Pumpkin Moon. And the past few episodes um, have been preparing for the Pumpkin Moon. Uh, we don't necessarily need to beat it. We just need to get the things that we need to get from it. Um really wave 15 is beating it so we just need to get to wave 15 and I'll consider it beaten so that will be in the next one or two episodes hopefully I'll probably continue upgrading off camera um, because as somebody pointed out the episodes were getting a bit stale and that's because I was just doing upgrades I didn't have much time but now that I have more time I will be able to uh, do some upgrades off camera and I will be able to fight the pumpkin moon event pretty soon next episode or two so look forward to that so thank you for your questions uh rock rockfish girl um fish with a y girl with an i uh normal spelling thanks for your questions if you have any questions you can just ask them on this video all right next question from nathan jones uh how much did your mic cost and why don't you record games like skyrim well my mic is the blue yeti and that costs about hundred and twenty dollars maybe um so i bought it off amazon i believe so it's about hundred and twenty dollars but it's a very good mic oh it's a very common mic as well so there's a ton of support from it um you can find tutorials everywhere on youtube for it so yeah it's the blue yeti it was hundred and twenty dollars where am i um also why don't you record games like skyrim well i'm not i haven't played enough skyrim to know what I'm doing in it, really, um, and you kind of have to know what you're doing if you're going to record it, otherwise the Let's Play just gets kind of boring and doesn't really have an end goal, but I haven't played enough Skyrim to 
really know what I'm doing, so that's why I don't record it. Although I do plan on doing a Trex place on it sometime, which will just be the first, like, I don't know, first few minutes of the game. When I say few, I don't mean like 10 or 12. I mean like 30 to 45 or so, those first few minutes of the game. Um, so that, and I'll probably do that sometime soon. I don't know when, but yeah, I, I just don't know enough about the game what I'm doing necessarily to be able to record it, so that's why I don't really play Skyrim on my on my channel. Um, next question. Oh, cave system. Mm, okay. Uh, hopefully my horse is still alive. It probably is. It might not be, but who knows. Where? Uh, did I leave my crafting bench again? I need to stop doing that. Anyways, um, how do I... I'm gonna get rid of these, because they are slightly annoying. Don't know why I have these diamonds, but they're useful sort of. Um, this will just make a couple beds. Actually, we might as well not do that because that will get slightly annoying. Torch. Where's my door? There's my door. Okay. I'm just going to pitch some stuff out here. That gravel, uh, iron ore, cobblestone. All that I don't need. So, we'll just pitch that. And we will check our coordinates now. Accidentally hit the wrong button there, guys. Um, anyways, I was saying that we're at tw uh, X22,000 out of 100,000, which is really good. Um, that means we're one day ahead of schedule if we keep traveling at the same rate of 2,000 blocks per day. So that's good. Uh, normally, this would be a 50-day venture because we're traveling 2,000 blocks. That's 100,000 blocks in 50 days. Um, but since we're one day ahead, that will give us time to uh, go... Um, north and south so that we can find Mount Doom so that we will hopefully reach this goal around the 50th day. So, yeah, we've got... Uh, that. That's what I'm trying to aim for, but this is the end of day 10. Let's go to sleep so that we can have day 11, and I'll answer some questions. We are a fifth... Hit the wrong button again. We are a fifth of the way through our journey, which is awesome. We were a tenth earlier. Now we are a fifth of the way through. Uh, where is my horse? I should find that because that horse has been very, very useful. Mr. Horse, where are you? Is that you? Is that my horse? Nope, that's just a beautiful shaders effect. Um, I don't have my ought be fine key bound. Where's the controls? Okay, zoom, 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 zoom. Where's the zoom key? It's got to be red, probably. Um, that's streaming multiplayer movement. Or miss, Zolanius. Um, wait, you can highlight players? Whoa. Oh, okay. Uh, where's zoom? I can't find it. Anyways, oh well. Um, horse. Horse, where are you? Oh gosh, no, we need that horse. That horse is very helpful. We That's the reason we're day ahead. Um, plus, it has a saddle. And I don't think we'll, we'll be able to get another one. So, so I think I just saw it over here. Did I? No, I didn't. Um, horsey, you can't be that far away. Oh, yeah, there's a cave over here. So it might be... Yeah, it's probably over here somewhere. Oh, gosh. Horse, please don't say... Um, well, I don't think we have a horse. Oh, oh, okay, good. Okay, there's the horse. Okay. <whistles> you really scared me there, buddy. I was just almost through saying, I don't think we have a horse anymore when you should have. That's a beautiful screenshot. I'm going to, which, what, F5 is the key. Oh, gosh. Um. Anyways, okay, there we go. He's got the screenshot. Uh, let's continue with our journey and the questions. Which question were we on? We just finished. Uh, how much did your mic cost? Now, um, Games with Warcraft has some questions for me. Um, he has two questions this time, as opposed to nine, like I challenged him. He did not deliver. Ooh, I'm going to try and find a way to go around this forest real quick. I don't think... Oh, we might be able to go over here. Um, yeah, I believe we can, because that forest is going to be quite nasty, quite hairy. Uh, actually, yeah, we'll just suck it up and deal with it. Um, he asked me, number one, oh wait, three questions, except the third one's not loaded, so, oh well. Uh, what's your opinion on Hat, Cough, Cough, Team Fortress 2, I'm assuming, like, Hat Farm or Hat Simulator or something, Team Fortress 2. Uh, haven't played it, don't really care to play it, 
So, yeah, um, I purposely haven't gotten into it for the reason that it has all those hats and all those microtransactions and stuff that I don't want eating my uh, PayPal balance because I need to use that for paying with Premiere, paying uh, paying for Photoshop, etc. Um, so, yeah, I haven't really gotten into it. It it looks fairly fun. I've seen my friend play it a bit, but I just don't. I'm just not really that type of person to play that game. So, yeah, I'm just not interested in it. Any, uh, next question is number two. Have you ever played a Splinter Cell game? I assume he's referring to the Tom Clancy Splinter Cell series. Uh, are there any other Splinter Cell series? Don't know. Um, no, I haven't. I haven't ever... I didn't really ever know of their existence, and I haven't really ever cared to play one of them. Um, so, no, I haven't. And I don't have your third question loaded, so I should probably check that real quick and see what that was. All right, game, uh, Warcraft asked me the third question. Have you ever played an Unreal Tournament game? No, I haven't. Um, but but with that new Unreal Engine that's been... Ooh, that's pretty. That new Unreal Engine, and they showcase that Unreal Tournament, it looks really good and really fun, and I probably will play that one whenever it's finished. I don't know if it's finished. I haven't kept up to date with it, but that one has slightly caught my attention, but I haven't played any other ones. Uh, now we have some more questions from Elboil11. Uh, he asked me, what is your favorite Minecraft biome? Um, I don't know. Uh, I, li I really like the amplified terrain mountains or plains or whatever they are, because that just generates crazy mountains, crazy high cliffs, and it's absolutely insane, and it's really, really quite cool. Um... I really like how it looks. So I guess amplified, amplified planes would be my favorite biome. Um, also the classic planes. Although I do like these forests and the river, but yeah, just amplified planes is my favorite. Uh, number two, have you been playing Five Nights at Freddy's off camera? No, I haven't. I uh, after the let's play, I just decided I didn't really like the game, and I put it in my um, Steam category of games to not play, to never play again. And I haven't really ever gotten back to that game or played any of the sequels. Um, so I haven't gone back to it and I haven't played it off camera. Why isn't this horse jumping? Oh, you're a terrible jumper horse. One block jump horse? Come on, man. Really? At least you're semi-fast. Though I can't measure because that would involve building and redstone and that those are... Thing, that's one thing I don't have the time for, and another thing I don't have the materials for. Uh, number two, have you been... Oh, yeah. Number three, why is your channel titled TRXCW? Uh, so he's asking me, why is my username TRXCW? And I've been waiting for this question for so long, somebody has finally asked it. So TRXCW is basically what I use for everything. Um, my first YouTube channel was just TRXCW. It wasn't Hoppercraft to TRXCW. It was later Hoppercraft, but originally it was just TRXCW. And it's, um, my username was TXW because that was my email username. And then my email username was TXW because back in the day when Neopets was still a thing, I don't know if it's still around or not, but back when it was a pretty huge thing, oh no. Oh no, are we gonna have to horse? Horse, no. Horse, don't leave me. There's still a way. There's still a way I can keep you, horse. Horse, no! Horse, don't do this! You don't have to do this, horse! Horse, no, horse! Oh my gosh. We have to lose our horse. This is unfortunate. We might as well make it funny and maroon him on this island, but still, we have to lose our horse. He's been so helpful. But now we get a boat. Um, and boats are fairly fast. They're faster than walking, I believe. So we're just on the open ocean. Just some more sailing, just like the earliest episodes of this series. Can can I see any land? It's just open ocean. Goodbye, horse. I'm going to have to dismount you if I can figure out how. Um, and I'm going to have to eat, eat some cooked mutton. Horse, don't... Uh, dang, I forgot my crafting bench again. Oh, this is going to become a running gag or something. I'm going to forget my crafting bench. I don't have enough wood to... Oh, gosh. This is not going well. Sorry, horse. Just We're postponing your marooning on that island. Well, I can go and chop down a tree with my fist like a 
like a pleb, plebeian from Roman, from the ancient Roman civilization. Uh, this is awkward because my horse can still see me. Um, I'm sorry, horse. Oh, hey, we just got the achievement for getting wood. That's interesting. Didn't didn't realize we hadn't gotten that achievement already. Um. Come on, I broke... Okay, there it is. Sweet. Uh, let's continue breaking this tree down until we just get, like, six or eight or so. But anyways, back in the day when Neopets was still a thing, I was signing up for Neopets, and I really wanted to play it because my friends were talking about it and such. Um, and so I sat down with my mom because I was only, like, six or seven. I didn't know what I was doing. And we signed myself up for Neopets, but we couldn't come up with a username. And my mom was just like, well... At the time, I was very obsessed with dinosaurs. Like, in kindergarten, all I would talk about was dinosaurs and such. Um, but my mom said, well, you like a T-Rex, so let's just put T-Rex in the username. And CW, that's your initials. Um, so how about T-Rex CW? Wait. There's still a chance for horse. Horse, we can, we can save you, horse. Um, there's land over there, horse. Oh, and it's loading more land. Horse, this is great. I'm just going to have to push you, and it's going to be slightly awkward. But anyways, let's just jump off into the sunset. So yeah, my new, my username comes from Neopets, and it was my Neopets account. Um, and then I've just been using that for everything ever since um, ever since I got my email and YouTube and such. That's why my name is TXW. So hope that answers your questions. And that's all for the questions this episode. Um... If you guys have any questions to ask me, just uh, put, write them in the comments below on this video, and I will be sure to check them out and answer them in the next episode of this. So now I just have to talk, although the sun is setting. So, yeah. Um, there's at least a little bit of land there, horse. You, we'll, we'll get to keep you for a little longer. Hopefully that's either a large island or another mainland. I don't think it is, but still, I can believe, I can dream, Harold. Anyways, you should be able to ride the horses. No, you couldn't, because they'd sink. Yeah, never mind. And it's just another small island, but our horse, we we can, we can have our goodbyes once again. Um, we'll we'll just ride as far as possible. Is that a ravine? No, it's not. Uh, ooh, actually, it is developing into more land, so that is good. Uh, we've got hills. We have terrain, um, differentiation, so that's good. All right, horse, you. Well, it's a good thing we kept you, because uh, otherwise you'd still be on that island, and I would be walking. And, yeah, it's a good thing we didn't have the wood to make a boat, and how to get the boat, because this island loaded, and that's good. So, anyways, guys, that's all for the questions, and that's about to be it for this episode. We should just dig ourselves a little hole right here. If I had a lead, that'd be nice, but I'll just dig a hole for horse or so. Um, actually, I won't, because I, I can find him, maybe. Oh yeah, I have a shovel. That'd make things easier. So, horse, you hold still. Just just hold still a bit, horse. This'll all be fine. No, horse, 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 come back. Come back, I'm gonna shove you in this hole, okay? It's all gonna be fine. I'll see you on the flip side. Goodbye, horse. Uh, let's quickly just build ourselves a little hobbit hole. Doesn't need to be big. Um, I don't even need to set a crafting bench down, because I'm... Oh, I do. Dang it! Oh, there it is. Oh, wait, no, I don't. I don't need to set it down. Um, I thought I left it on that island with horse. Oh, wait, yeah, I need to make the bed. Of course. Um, of course, horse. That's the last of our oak wood that we started out with. Let's dig this up. We'll place down the bed. We'll go to sleep. So, anyways, guys, that's it for this episode of the 100,000 Block Journey. We just concluded with day 11. We are, last time I checked, 22,000 blocks in, um, out of... Out of uh, 100,000, of course, it has increased a bit since the last um, check because we did walk an entire day. Probably about 25,000 at this point, which means we're either... We're between a fifth and a quarter at this point. So, anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked this video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.